Now I'm going to show you a sneaky trick to change the cam chain or timing chain, whatever you want to call it. You may not want to try this yourself, but I believe in it. There it is, fresh from Honda. Wasn't that much money. I think it was under 30 bucks. And the chain in this thing has flipped a few teeth because it's so loose and worn. So they're very difficult to take out. You've got to split part of the crankcase, take the flywheel off, and that takes a special puller tool. And I'm a lazy redneck some days on a sunny day like this. I'd rather be drinking beer and riding than tearing a block down. So I'm just going to take the rocker cover off, get my grinder, split the chain, grind one of the little pins off on one side there, push it through, tie the old chain to the new chain, pull it all the way through while slowly pulling the motor around by hand, put the chain back together and put a tiny blob of MIG on it, MIG weld, and I think it's going to work. And it's about five minutes later and I'll show you what I mean. It is so loose you can see why it skipped a few teeth. And you can see just how much slack there is. Very first thing you want to check to see if it's bent a valve. So you set it to TDC compression on the cam, which I've done. Both lobes are pointing down. And you rock the rocker arms. That one feels normal. And that one feels normal. So if you have a bent valve, it's usually this one and there's lots of play that's true for cars and all engines if you have it on the compression stroke and you've got lots of play you have a bent valve so we're okay everything's covered with paper towel so grinding grits don't get in the motor now I'm ready to grind the head off one of those pins then just pry the chain open without it falling down inside hopefully done very simple. Now I've done the same thing to the new chain. Horrors! Now I've set the chain on that thick washer just right across the opening. And I just took the point of a screwdriver and a hammer and pounded the little pin till it's recessed. Now I just pry and swing that little H-shaped thing over. So it's done. I just used those two pair of pliers and moved over by hand no problem. Now just to separate the chain and then tie it onto that one with a little piece of wire. And there's my little piece of wire to hook the two chains together new and old. And it's hard to see but they're securely tied now. Now just to pull it through. So now I'm just pulling one end while the other end is getting sucked down around through. Then when the, this end gets to there, then I reattach the chain and put a little weld on it. Now the chain is pulled all the way through. Got the cam sprocket lined up to the place where you're supposed to have it synchronized with the piston on TDC. Now I take out the little piece of wire. Be careful I don't drop either end down the hole. And get that arm swung over to get back on that pin again and then squeeze them together with pliers and then the weld. Now the chain is put back together, it just has to be squeezed and to get it back on the sprocket I have to undo the two bolts, drop the sprocket down, hook the chain on, set timing, lift it up, put the bolts back in and then adjust the lash adjuster. With the screwdriver just pressed against that little eight shape link, I just tap the back of the screwdriver with the hammer and it pressed the pin all the way back in. Chain's almost as good as new. So, took the two little bolts out, just sort of drop the sprocket down by pinching everything, line the chain up, cam is on TDC, pistons on TDC, and now to put the bolts back in and should be ready to rock once I just adjust these. The bolts are tight now. And now for the weld. That's the most trickiest part, but should just take a second. Done. Just took a wink of an eye. And there's the little blob. It's just fine. It doesn't get in the way or anything. And of course I put the ground right there. It grounds the sprocket and chain. That's tightened. That's lined up. 
that's tightened. We're all set to put the cover back on, drain the bowl on the car because it hasn't been started in eight months, and see if it fires up in one kick. Who knows? She's draining. Okay, this is it, the big test. Is it going to start with a redneck timing chain quickie repair? Took me about 40 minutes. Ah, why not one more cold start? First start of 2010, my 78 XL250. And I put the new timing chain in this one last year and put the video on YouTube also. But I did it the long way. Good here at Dave's Farm. 